The wait is over and photo mode is here. Black Salt Games, the team of four developers behind Dredge, has released version 1.2 to the public. I will be breaking down everything that is new and showing you how you can enter their photo competition to win some exclusive Dredge merch. Hello, my name is Ban Shredded Cheese and I'm a streamer over on Twitch and a YouTuber who focuses on all things indie games, including reviews of new releases. I will be breaking down all the updates released in Dredge version 1.2, including the new features, adjustments, and fixes, so feel free to let that panic meter reset and let's jump right in. One of the exciting additions in the latest updates for Dredge is the addition of a highly anticipated feature, photo mode. Now players can unleash their inner photographer and capture some stunning moments from their fishing adventures. To unlock this incredible ability, you'll need to lend a helping hand to a new character known as the photographer. Seek her out at a brand new camp located on an island to the south of the Maros. Immerse yourself in the picturesque landscapes with the power of photo mode. Frame those breathtaking sunsets, majestic sea creatures, and eerie beauty of the Lovecraftian realm, so get ready to strike a pose and create memories that will last a lifetime in Dredge's immersive and captivating world. The creators behind Dredge are also doing a photo contest, so make sure you stay till the end of the video to learn how to enter. Another noteworthy addition in the recent update of Dredge is the introduction of Passive Mode. This game mode allows players to immerse themselves in the tranquil beauty of the open world without any fear or threat from the Lovecraftian creatures lurking beneath the waves. To activate Passive Mode, simply navigate to the Settings menu and select the option on the first screen. This is the General tab. Once enabled, you can explore the vast archipelago and its stunning environments at your own pace without the worry of encountering menacing creatures. This mode offers a peaceful and serene experience, allowing you to appreciate the awe-inspiring visuals, engage in leisurely fishing, and soak in the atmospheric ambiance of Dredge's captivating world. So, if you are seeking a more relaxed and stress-free gaming experience, don't hesitate to activate passive mode and let yourself be enchanted by the tranquility of this remarkable adventure. Before anyone asks, I did try using the switch into passive mode to act like a way of using using Banish to avoid taking damage from certain monsters, and it sort of works. If the attack animation has already started, then it's too late and, and you're just gonna have to take the hit. Brace for the arrival of not just one or two, but a staggering 10 new aberrations that will test your skills and push your limits of courage. These love crafty and monstrosities have emerged from the depths of the ocean, ready to confront anyone daring enough to venture into their domain. With their grotesque forms, these aberrations will keep you on your toes, ensuring that every fishing expedition becomes a heart-pounding adventure. All of the new aberrations are for already existing fish in the game, but that did not stop me from hunting them all down as fast as I could. Some fish, like the new swordfish aberration, I got with little effort, but others took me a lot of bait, effort, and patience to hunt down. The total number of fish in the Pokedex is now up to 138, and more fish are planned to be added in future updates including the paid DLC releasing at the end of this year. Alongside these chilling aberrations, the update also introduces 8 new types of wildlife, each with its own unique behaviors and characteristics. Among these captivating creatures, there is one that defies convention. It fearlessly roams the shallows, challenging the notion that safety lies near the shore. Encounter this brave creature up close as you explore the captivating coastal areas of the archipelago. This addition not only adds diversity to the game's ecosystem, but also adds an element of surprise and wonder to your fishing expeditions. All the new wildlife added to the game is passive and cannot harm your boat, but that doesn't mean my heart doesn't skip a beat on occasion when I realize something has wandered a bit closer to my boat than I am comfortable with. If you remember my previous video when the updates were first announced, I predicted that you would be able to find turtles and crocodiles in some of the regions of the map. I'm excited to say that I was correct with these predictions, but there are six other types of wildlife for you to find and discover on your own. I may not have been 100% correct about all the different predictions I made, but if you subscribe, you'll be able to see me either look like a genius or be very embarrassed when the final two updates are released later this year. In addition to the thrilling gameplay updates, the latest Dredge update brings some exciting new settings that offer the player greater control over their gaming experience. One of the new settings introduced is VSync. By enabling VSync, the players ensure that their monitor's refresh rate synchronizes with the game's frame rate, resulting in a smoother and more visually appealing gameplay. Next up is the pause and background setting. With this update, the default behavior has now changed so the game no longer pauses when you lose focus. This means that you can now seamlessly switch between the game and other applications without any interruption. Whether you need to quickly respond to a message, click record for a game clip, or check something online, your progress in Dredge will remain. The camera follow mode setting is another new addition. Players now have the option to detach the camera from the boat's turning orientation. 
This means that when the boat turns, the camera will not automatically follow the boat's new direction. This setting provides a new level of control, allowing players to have a fixed camera perspective and observe the surroundings independently of the boat's movements. If you are feeling a bit seasick in the past from the background spinning around you, this setting will be perfect for you as you are now locked with the horizon rather than your boat. With the introduction of spyglass sensitivity sliders, players can fine-tune the sensitivity of their spyglass's horizontal and vertical movement. This customization option ensures that you can precisely scan the horizon and zoom in on distant targets and fully appreciate the breathtaking vistas that Dredge has to offer. Last but not least, the Haste VFX setting allows players to disable the visual effects that occur when activating the Haste ability. By turning off the FOV pull and screen shake, players can have a more streamlined and focused experience while utilizing this powerful ability. Alongside the exciting gameplay enhancements, the recent update for Dredge introduces several additional adjustments and improvements. To provide a more organized and user-friendly experience, the developers have added a new General tab to the settings menu. This tab serves as a central hub for various options, ensuring that players can easily navigate and access the settings they desire. With a streamlined layout, adjusting preferences and customizing your gameplay experience becomes even more convenient. In recognition of the talented individuals behind the scenes, the credits section has been expanded to include a couple new names. This addition acknowledges the hard work and dedication of the team involved. To maintain the integrity of the gameplay experience, dolphins and other events are now discouraged from swimming over the abyss stellar basin. This adjustment adds a layer of realism to the game aligning with the geographical characteristics of the environment. As players explore the depths of Stellar Basin, they can expect a sense of authenticity and immersion as certain events and creatures can steer clear of this treacherous expanse. For all the enthusiastic speedrunners out there, the latest update for Dredge brings some improvements tailored specifically for the speedrunning community. Firstly, a notable adjustment has been made regarding the haste activation sound effect. Now, if haste was deactivated recently, the haste activation sound effect will not play. This change ensures that speedrunners can maintain optimal focus and minimize distractions during their fast-paced runs. With this adjustment, the game provides a smoother audio experience, allowing speedrunners to concentrate on their precise movements and strategies. In addition, the update introduces the reporting of a few specific values to an auto splitter. These reported values serve as valuable information for precise timing, split management, and performance analysis. By providing this enhanced functionality, the developers demonstrate their support for the speedrunning community, facilitating more accurate and efficient speedrun attempts. In addition to the exciting new features and adjustments, the recent update for Dredge also addresses several important fixes that enhance the overall gameplay experience. One of the resolved issues involves the crab pot and troll net information panel. Previously, there was an issue where this panel wouldn't display correctly the first time the game was loaded with either of these abilities pre-selected. However, with the latest ability, this issue has been successfully fixed. Another fix addresses a potential freeze that could occur when downgrading a troll net to another net with a smaller internal capacity. This issue has been rectified, eliminating any freezing incidents and allowing the players to transition between nets smoothly without interruption. A fix has been implemented for an issue relating to discarding the package from the mayor. Previously, the associated map marker would not be removed despite discarding the package. With the latest update, this issue has been resolved, ensuring that the map marker is correctly removed when the package is discarded, providing a more accurate representation of objectives. In Devil's Spine, a fix has been applied to address an issue of an island calling incorrectly. This issue could impact the visual experience and immersion in this particular area. However, with the update, the island now renders correctly, allowing players to explore and appreciate the unique features of Devil's Spine without any visual discrepancies. Lastly, the update includes fixes for some localization issues. These adjustments ensure the game's text and translations are accurate and properly aligned, providing a seamless and immersive experience for players around the world. The Dredge team has also announced a photo contest to celebrate the release of this game mode update. If you want to enter, then you need to load up your game and go get some pictures around the map. Once you select your favorite, you can reply to their tweet or Facebook post, or you can post on Instagram with the hashtag DredgePhoto to enter. Only one entry is allowed per social media platform. The team will be selecting one person to win an enamel pin set and a Dredge t-shirt of their choice. I am not sponsored to promote this photo contest in any way. I just wanted to give it a shout out and let you know that there is a contest going on, even if that means I have more competition. And that is everything you need to know about the latest update along the roadmap Black Salt Games has announced. Feel free to let me know in the comments what new aberration is your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe for more Dredge updates as they come out. And you can feel free to check out this video to see all of my predictions and try counting how many I guessed correctly. I will see you all next time.